My play is about a woman who is uh, driven crazy by Verizon customer service and uh, she joins what she believes is a support group for people who've been hurt uh, badly by inadequate customer service uh, only to find out that it's actually um, an underground resistance movement. The idea for this play um, uh, probably very surprisingly uh, came about when I was on the phone fighting with my phone company and I found myself with sort of no other recourses that I could think of yelling into the phone at this poor customer service representative, I'm going to write a play about this. And immediately I could hear how absurd that sounded and I sort of felt, that it was this sort of pause and I sort of felt like that person was like, you know what, knock yourself out, you know. Um, I've come to feel in doing this play that there are the great universal um, subjects that people identify with, birth, death, love, and then there um, is uh, customer service nightmares, which is right up there. There is no theater without an audience. You know, there, a painting is a painting, a book is a book. There is no, theater isn't what's on the page, it isn't what happens in the rehearsal room. Theater is what happens imaginatively between what happens on the stage and in the collective mind of the audience. It's extremely ephemeral and it's different every night for that reason. And that's, that's why we do it because it, is, it happens every night. There's no there there except for that thing. So we don't really know I mean, I, th I think what we hope is that something will be taken away, but we don't know what that is because the audience is making it with us.